I'm delighted now to be joined by Oliver Juckenhuffel, head of Airbus Space Site Bremen. Oliver, thank you so much for joining us. That's a pleasure. I wonder if you could tell us first, what do you think a post-ISS era looks like? Honestly, I personally think that ISS will never end because International Space Station, that's all right for me in the long run, right? It's international, it's space, and it's a station. So I think the infrastructure will change, and we're changing that already. So we've started commercializing the ISS by investing in a small balcony, which we call Bartolomeo. But Bato Romeo is really a commercial service that we are providing for anybody else and those who are already on the station. So the business model will change, the hardware will change, but the spirit will never change. Do you think that the world is ready for an orbital society? I think it is. I think it is. We're, we're not yet there, but if you take a look at what, what makes the difference between orbital economy and orbital society, I think it's the fact that you, you need to take care of what you're doing up there, right? So it's getting more and more busy up there with all the new players from new space. And as this is developing, I think we need to have regulations. So we have all the ingredients already right now, but they're not quite fitting into one another to allow scaling and growth. So that's why we're talking about the Orbital Society. And that's why we're promoting new regulation to allow growing business in North Orbit. What do you need to do to make those pieces fit then? I think it's as classical technology development, so there's a lot of things out there which work, but we need to package them to demonstrate that we can provide, for instance, on-orbit services, refueling of infrastructure, debris removal, maybe even recycling and satellite building in space. That's on the one side. And as I hinted on the regulatory side, I think if you're doing business up there, you should act responsibly and sustainably and take care of the debris that you're leaving there. Can you tell us a little bit about the module for the Lunar Space Station? The Orion, I, you see it right behind me. Orion is, a, is an integrated vehicle which is supposed to fly to different planets, right? So it's designed for Mars, but it will fly to Moon in the first step. We're responsible for one part of that, which is the European Service Module, and that's really the powerhouse of Orion. So we're just about finishing the first uh, flight hardware of that. This will fly in June 2020. We had a great press conference yesterday with our partners, NASA, ESA as customers, but also Lockheed Martin. And we'll then go to Kennedy Space Center in Florida, integrated with a capsule from Lockheed and go for system testing, and then ready for launch. And what does it mean to Airbus being involved in that? Well, first of all, for humanity going back to Moon, I think it's the right step. If you heard Jim Bradenstein saying at the first day, this is going to be for, for staying, right? This is sustainable. So to be part of that is just an honor, and it proves that what we've been doing in Europe for the last decades was just ride the evolutionary staff. To now be on ice level with all those big companies in the US, and to be part of that is really meaning a lot to us, to our employees, to everybody in the company. And just finally, how do you see the future of space and space exploration? Well, I, I use a very simple picture of that. So first, everything that we have today on Earth I think tomorrow we're going to have that in low Earth orbit. And everything that we're going to have in low Earth orbit today, tomorrow we're going to have around the Moon. So we'll connect the Moon to the Earth. And that will create a business environment that everybody can play with. And we're happy to be part of that. And we consider ourselves to be an enabler. It's very exciting. It is. And I'm really enthusiastic about it. That's great. Thank you so much, Oliver, for joining us. And enjoy the rest of the Congress. It's a pleasure to be with you.